Hello friends, uh, in this video I will be telling you what are native uh, web and hybrid apps because during the automation uh, with selenium you will be coming uh, with these terms and uh, so just I will be explaining those ok now what is an <coughs> sorry now what is your native app ok native apps are those uh, for example if I open my camera for example say this what uh, this whatsapp this is a native app ok native app are those which are downloaded by play store ok for example this is this is your android this is your Android and this is your iOS okay this is your mob 1 this is your mob 2 this is your mob 3 and this is your mob 4 okay so if you have a native app then for uh, Android it will be developed by the Android developers okay as so and you can download it from its Play Store okay so and uh, suppose this is your this is your app okay and for iOS it will be differently developed and it will download it from by its iTunes okay so for every architecture it is developed differently okay if you have some different architecture for blackberry or something then it will be developed differently okay so if you want to launch any native app with uh, android and ios then definitely you have uh, to spend a lot because you have to develop it on different platforms okay and native app can only be downloaded from their play store okay the one good feature of uh, these native app are that they can use your android uh, capabilities what by mean this capabilities because if an app which is developed by android so they use all the libraries uh, exportable uh, libraries of an uh, android that is they can easily interact with the camera they can easily interact with your messaging services they can easily contact your phone books all the pre-configured apps which are installed in a mobile these app can easily communicate with those okay it can easily communicate with these mobiles as well camera etc etc okay so these are the native app if we consider native app they are very powerful as per functionality because uh, but uh, they are expensive to build okay because the developers are usually the Android uh, good developers who have the good understanding of Android or iOS architecture so that they can easily inter uh, interact with the architecture okay plus uh, uh, they have some drawbacks as well okay the main drawback is that uh, suppose uh, uh, if I want to make an app then I have to get uh, an, in the market they are about uh, three to four uh, architectures then I have to uh, contact with each uh, architecture developer and have to make a plan that uh, they release in the same so that I, I, I have one date so I'm releasing my app in the market so uh, it needs to be pre-planned if you are uh, developing a native app but uh, we cannot forget they are very powerful okay the next comes is the <coughs> the next comes is the web app okay now what are web apps okay web apps are those which are not developed okay which are not developed for your specific operating system 
not developed for iOS, not developed for uh, any architecture, Android, Windows, etc. Okay, these are web based. They are developed with the. It's uh, came into existence only when there is an HTML5 came into a market. Okay, so this is your app, web app. Okay, and. and this is your suppose iOS mobile this is your Android okay this is your Windows okay so they are not developed uh, uh, installed from the Play Store they are directly work on the e if we have a single web app okay for a app uh, one application so it is runnable on every iOS Android and Windows because it does not use the capabilities of this architecture okay so they are generic in nature because they run on the uh, internet okay they are not running on your mobiles so that why they uh, they cannot interact with your uh, mobiles as well like they cannot use your camera features etc now the web apps web apps are so advanced that uh, you cannot easily identify <laughs> that you are working with an web app or uh, it's a native app okay so uh, an example of this would be uh, just a yes <laughs> I just paused my video. It was an earthquake in uh, Delhi, so I just ran outside. <laughs> so let's me, <laughs> yeah. So let's me continue. Uh, so uh, I was telling them uh, web apps, okay? That web apps are they are on uh, they exist on the web, okay? And uh, you cannot easily identify that it is a native or the web app. The specialty of web app apps that it uh, it uh, it develops ones and it can be used on any platforms. For example, let's suppose open my camera feed. Okay, and yes. Suppose uh, you have a YouTube application. Okay. You see, YouTube. You, uh, if you go to the Play Store, you can download the YouTube from here as well. Okay, this you get in shortcut. There is another way also. Go to Chrome. Okay, and go to uh, YouTube. Okay, and I have said open with Chrome. Okay, YouTube is loading. So I have opened this YouTube. In the right hand side, you will see this, and it's saying add to home screen. Okay, and I have added. I close this. On my screen, you will see this. Okay, this is a shortcut. Now, if I open this, it will be YouTube will be opened. And you know it will be the same as uh, it will be look and feel will be the same as the app you have installed from the YouTube. Okay, so this is the thing. It's th this is the web app. All these features are web app, or the this is our, these are will working on the web. And while if we configure the YouTube application, it's a native app. So this is the reason that uh, web apps are most popular these days. Okay. Next is the hybrid app. Hybrid app are those which uh, use both the power of a native app as well as the hybrid app. We download it from the Play Store, and at some time they are interacting. Uh, they have some pages which have a uh, uh, web app. So the uh, these are the most uh, race, uh, recent and which are most powerful feature that uh, we develop the hybrid apps. Uh, some part in which we we needs to communicate with the mobile camera etc. We develop that natively, and uh, the part we think that needs to be generic, we develop it in a web app. So it's the combination of both. Uh, these are very good. They are web app, hybrid apps. Okay. 
Now, why we are learning in selen uh, in uh, APM? Okay, in APM, our default mode is native app. Okay, context. There is something known as context in APM. Okay, now what is a context? Suppose this uh, when you are working with an app, you don't have any idea. Frankly speaking, you don't know that it's a native app, it's a hybrid app, it's a web app. If you are uh, automating it, so suppose there is an app and it has a page, okay, and there is one element here, element one, one element here. element 2 and one element here okay so what does context mean and there are you can say there are two contexts in APM one is native native app and the another is web view it can be one it can be a sector number of uh, web views okay so when the APM is communicating with it, it is in a native app, native view, that is native context. So it is able to identify it. Now suppose, now suppose these two elements you are not able to identify with your UI automator as well as APM inspector. You will face these uh, situations like if you Chrome, for example, if I Chrome here, open the Chrome here. If I this open my Chrome, what you will see that uh, defaultly you can only communicate with this. I will show this. This is the address bar here. Okay, this is the address bar, and this is the option here. So you can communicate with the your APM. Uh, good there is no issues you will be able to uh, add here and click on this but if there is something here if I open go to google.com something I go to uh, google.com okay so I can type google.com here I can use these keys but I won't be able to find this element here because this part this part is under web view this is not a native app okay so you need to switch from native context to the web view context okay I will open uh, the selenium uh, uh, what we say that the Android driver is uh, ex uh, is inheriting the web driver so web driver has one uh, function I will show you here uh, that is HQ selenium okay HQ selenium downloads and uh, this is Java docs for Java and uh, right web driver web driver yes web driver wait this is web driver and if I hear such context mm, let me open my APM docs as well I'm opening the Java docs for APM. Yeah, guys, <laughs> it's uh, just my wife just saying upon uh, for the earthquake. They are sharing the call that oh, it was an earthquake. It was a good earthquake or seven plus Richter. Uh, leave it now. So here's an Android driver. Okay, 
then if you go and search context uh -huh, yeah it was oh sorry it was not any IP driver. yeah you will see a function in an APN driver that context public string context okay G this the get context it find in currently which context it is and you can also switch to context uh, I will find there is switch uh, hide keyboard switch to txt context yeah this is the context you can write driver dot context and you give the name of that context maybe the native view or the web view so if you are working with this Google and if you want to click any search here so you need to you need to switch to web view context okay and then you will able to find these elements okay you will find some situations that uh, you, when you click on uh, some link a new web browser opens and you are not able to identify this this is because it is open in a web view so you need to uh, change your uh, context from native view to web view and uh, suppose if I again want to work here so I can again switch from web view to native view okay I will be taking uh, some examples in the next video that how you can switch and how you can use them okay Thank you.